Hello and welcome to New Parents in Training. So we are still vacationing here in Shenzhen, China. And we are staying in the place called the Nansan District. And it's known for uh, expensive luxury homes. And I, today I'm going to do a little bit different. I'm going to go check out a house. Now the, this house is not the most expensive one, but it's a very typical one in this uh, area. And, and this typical one is cost over 20 million RMB. It's almost 3 million US. So yeah, so it's going to be interesting. Uh, I was able to get hold of a realtor and he's able to contact one of the homeowner and I am going to meet up with a homeowner and he's going to show me his house. Okay, I'll see you in a little bit. I just got into their neighborhood uh, in their apartment complex. So yeah, there's all the high rises here. Some of the more expensive, not the most expensive real estate in the, in the Shenzhen area. But yeah, it's on the higher end. But anyway, so that's the owner right in front of me. All right, just came out of the elevator. And here are some the view from the 22nd floor. It's pretty nice up here. Especially when you are high up, it's not as humid and hot. Alright. Yeah, this is the owner who was walking in front of me earlier to uh, get me inside his community. Uh, okay. Shoes off outside. Uh, hey, you are Hi. 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 At the moment, it's a picture. Mm. Look at this. Oh, here's the bathroom. Oh, there are three bathrooms mm. in here. That's the first one. So this is the living room. And I'm Oh, there are three bathrooms mm. in here. That's the first one. So this is the living room, I presume. Oh, this is the dining room. Oh, very beautiful. <laughs> oh, they've been living here for two decades, 20 years. Wow. Look at the views. It's a lot of green, greenery down there, a lot of trees. It's a very good location. It's not that loud either. Can you open it? Can you open it? Oh. Oh, there's a breeze. As right now, it's in the middle of summer. Oh, it's extremely hot. Oh, okay. Wow. But there's a breeze, so it's actually nice up here. Okay. How? This is the kitchen. No, the kitchen area. Uh, not that big, but it's quite large for. Uh, Chinese. Standard. Oh, this is the laundry room. Okay, that's the laundry, the washer. It's a big refrigerator. Oh, this is what? Oh, this is infected. This is not a washer. It's not a washer. They use it for disinfectant. Okay. Cool. Okay. Oh, two levels. All right. I do like their dining table. It's quite nice. Okay. This, uh, this oh, this is the yard. Yard. Yeah. Let's check out their the other side. Still haven't made it out the living room yet. Oh. Wow, this is a lot of fun. Oh, it's very windy. Oh. Oh, not sure if you can see it, but where the mount mountains are, that is Hong Kong. Oh, right there is a theme park, the Happy Valley. Yeah, we didn't take our kids there, uh, even though we live like right across. Um, yeah, just because there's not that much stuff for kids. It's mostly for adults. 
Yeah, it's a very nice view, especially it's windy up here. Uh, I'm a little scared of heights, but anyway, so there's a pool right there, and there's some playgrounds for the kids. Yeah. Oh, way gone, way gone. Uh, there's an AC unit right outside here. Oh, so those are your there's four AC units. Yeah, they don't like unlike the, in the US, we have a central unit. Uh, they don't. The individual ones control each individual room. So that's how it works over here. Okay. This is the Oh, this is the office. Uh, so the daughter actually went to uh, UK for undergrad. That was pretty cool. A lot of well-off uh, Chinese families, they send their kids overseas for education. So they are no exception. Uh, yeah, very nice view out oh, here. This is the office, okay. 这边就是我女儿的房间。Oh, this is her daughter's room. Well, she doesn't live here right now. She lives somewhere else, uh, closer to her work and stuff. So, yeah, this is a little bit on the suburb side of Shenzhen. This is a studio. This is the media room. Oops. Oh, this is a pretty cool chair. school TV. Okay. Oh, this is the second The second bathroom. Yeah, is the Oh, okay. Another AC unit. A very small patio. It is standing shower. Oh, this is the master room. Master bedroom. Master bedroom. Oh, it's, it's huge. So you have to go to the house. So you have to It's about 300 square foot. That's quite large for China standard. Usually, it's quite small. Oh, it's small overall in Asia. So this place must cost a good penny. You mentioned you have to Oh, it's rough, well, uh, it's 200 square meter, so roughly about 2,000 square foot, so it's very large. This is the third bathroom. So in another standing bathroom here, uh, there's a jacuzzi. Okay. Oh wow, this is pretty cool. This is a master bathroom. Bathroom. This is a master bathroom. Yeah. This is where they kept all their clothes. Ah, very beautiful. Very beautiful. You live here for 20 years. That this old house is the first one. Oh, they are the first owner here. Uh, so, then you this is uh, buy the so you have to install it? No, no install. Later, we install it ourselves. That before, what was it? Called a wash bathroom. 那是什么？就是什么都没有，就是水泥墙。Oh, okay. So what you see here is very unique because they had to uh, do all this stuff themselves. Well, they hired people to do it. So when they first purchased the house, essentially it's just nothing but concrete. So none of this floor tile is being in place or nothing in the bathroom that you see here. So everything had to be uh, what they call the remodeling. Uh, put everything in here and so they have to find someone to design and someone to, to actually construct everything here back in the US everything you um, If you buy a house everything is come with it all the carpet and the plumbing and everything, but here they have to uh, have someone to design and then construct from the ground up So yeah, it's quite interesting then you meant 
，现在现在这房价是多少？方便讲吗？现在这个房价要划到。总总价钱要多少钱？平米我还不是特别清楚，但总价要在两千万以上。哦，哇哦！买两百多万。Okay, so twenty years ago, when they first purchased, it's roughly about uh two million RMB. Uh, so that's about a quarter million dollars, give or take. But right now, it's over twenty million RMB. That's over two million US. Uh, real estate in Asia is quite high, especially in uh, places like Shenzhen. Thank you very much for coming to see me. No, 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 so they actually had to pay uh, what he said uh, around 200 RMB a month for his parking spot, which is not much, uh, consider <laughs> the value of the house around here. Uh, but he does get a dedicated uh, parking space for him for the money that he pays. So in China, uh, the parking is always cost money. Anyway, so this area is really nice. He also showed me around, there's a lake in his neighborhood and also there are a lot of trees. Uh, I just found that today I learned a whole lot about uh, China real estate. Yeah, it's a little bit too much money for uh, my taste. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, I'll see you guys around.